everybody so it's been a little bit of a crazy morning here already Kevin was so excited because he was going to be able to sleep in however he got a phone call at six o'clock this morning from his mother she has been waking up for the past few days very dizzy and she thought she was having vertigo so he had to rush over to her house at about six o'clock to take her to um, the emergency room and they are still there. Um, they said she does not have vertigo. They're thinking it's an inner ear infection. So we're not quite sure yet what is happening with her. Um, he's still there, like I said. He's keeping me updated, but no, no answers quite yet. I got up early and went with Megan to her doctor's appointments um, this morning, and everything is fine there. She has to go see a chiropractor. Um, for her knots in her back and um, go from there with that. My doctor's appointment isn't until 3 this afternoon, so I am going to, I just took my meds. I have to wait now 30 minutes from when I take my new blood sugar meds till I, till I can eat. So it's getting close to time where I can eat again. Yay! So I'm going to have some breakfast here in a little while and um, just wait for Kevin to get home and see how everything's going. So we will keep you all updated. Bye! So I had to get up early this morning. Uh, my mom calls and apparently she had fallen and uh, she had severe vertigo. So and she was nauseous and so I ran over there and I uh, tried to see if I can just get her into my truck and drive her to the doctor but uh, she couldn't stand long enough. I ha had the wheelchair in the back of the truck. Unfortunately it, I wouldn't be able to get her down the stairs and it wouldn't go through her doors. So we had to call uh, an ambulance. So she had to be ambulanced to uh, Kaiser and Riverside. And uh, I just left her. It's 11.20. We've been there since 7. So she seems to be okay, but she still has the vertigo. But they're not, they're saying it's not vertigo. Well, the one nurse says this doesn't have vertigo symptoms. Vertigo, you just spin, especially when your eyes are closed. She didn't have any of those uh, symptoms. She has, uh, she starts losing her balance when she moves. She turns her head and she just goes over. Which reminds me of when I had uh, an inner ear infection. That's the symptoms I had. Uh, I was fine when I was lying still, but as soon as I moved, then my whole stomach wanted to do flips. That's what she's going through. Kind of sucky day. Yeah, it has me stressed out. Okay, I gotta introduce everybody. This is my long lost daughter. <laughs> I actually raised this girl for three years um, when she was how old? When she was like eight years old. And uh, now she is 23. And here's mine. 24! What are you doing, 24? You're old. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh, she's 24. And this is my little grandson, I call him, Cohen. Cohen, look. Say, Say hi to the camera. Say Lo hi. Low kiss. Low kiss. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Hi, <laughs> everybody. Hello, everybody. Tonight we're not going to do shout outs like we normally do. Um, we had a family emergency today as we explained a little bit earlier in the vlog. Um, so we're, we're going to forego shout outs. Kevin is not going to say um, the winners or who got correct on his trivia question we'll from last tomorrow. night. We'll do that tomorrow. Yes, he will answer all that tomorrow. I am going to do my question. He is going to do a new trivia question 
Um, but I think you should tell them a little bit about what's going on with mom. Yeah, six o'clock this morning, uh, mom called me and she said she's dizzy and she can't get out of bed. Apparently she had actually fallen. Uh, she lives in a, a mobile home that's about uh, 15 minutes away. So I rushed over there and she seems to have vertigo. So I had to call ambulance because I couldn't get her out of, out of the house without hurting both of us. And took her to the hospital. Uh, she's, she, they kept her. She's staying. They, they want to check to see if she didn't have a stroke. They're looking for um, high blood pressure and things like that. She's in the cardiac unit. So, uh, they're saying it was not vertigo. She does not have all the symptoms of vertigo. So it, they're saying yeah. it was not vertigo. They did a CAT scan mm -hmm. of her brain. Um, and they called in a brain specialist who hasn't seen her yet. They won't see her until tomorrow. So, uh, would be uh, nice to have some prayers and some, uh, if everybody can keep, um, my mom, mom Mom McLean, Maureen McLean, in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. And okay. Poor Kevin's been running around like a lunatic today. So. Yeah, driving all over the place. Yeah, so. The hospital isn't real close, so it's back and forth and back and forth. And so. running around getting prescriptions for Megan and, and a whole bunch of stuff, so. Okay, enough about that. So, my question, um, I'll review everybody's answers for yesterday's question tomorrow as well. My question today is, if someone was to write a book or make a movie of your life, mm. what would the title be? Cool. Okay. And my new trivia question is from the uh, original 1996 Scream. Everybody knows the uh, ghost face character, uh, the costume, very popular now. But in the original movie, it was called something else. What was it called? Well, that's the question. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> there you have it. There's your questions for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We're so sorry we're not finishing up our vlogs the way this vlog the way we normally do. We're tired. We, we hope you guys truly understand. Um, sometimes life just gets in the way. But we love you all so very, very much. Thank you all for following along with us. Thumbs up and be sure to go and check out all our other channels. We love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.